Greetings to all of our partners in ministry on this final day of 2023. First and foremost, I want to take a moment to thank you on behalf of myself and the entire LCC staff for your partnership and support this year. Your generosity continues to allow Lutheran Church Charities to be there with the comfort and hope of Jesus to communities, individuals, and congregations who need hope in an ever-changing world. Even in spite of these changes, we remember that God is in control, walking alongside each of us, providing the comfort and the hope that only He can bring. In my first year as President and CEO of LCC, I have truly been focused on these beautiful and comforting words of Jesus found in John chapter 20. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. Throughout the scriptures, we see God sending people to many places. He sent Abraham with a promise. He sent Moses with a message. He sent the judges, prophets, and kings to bring order. And most importantly, He sent His Son Jesus to save and redeem. Still today, He is sending people, and I truly believe that LCC is being sent by God to be there with all those we serve to bring the mercy, compassion, presence, and proclamation of Jesus Christ to those who are suffering and in need. When you give to LCC, you are choosing to be there in a very real and significant way. The reality of us being able to be there starts with you. Together we are Team LCC, and together we serve God's people with the love that Jesus first gave to us. Together, as we each contribute in our various roles, we will be there to bring physical, spiritual, emotional, and mental aid to individuals, families, and entire communities. This last year, with the Lord's help, we have impacted tens of thousands of lives across the United States and internationally. LCC has served survivors and communities impacted by mass shootings, natural disasters. We've supported families and communities through our partner churches and supported international aid efforts in war-ravaged nations. We've sat with the hurting, and we've seen the smiles on the faces of those who've received needed support. We've helped homeowners in the midst of chaos and have provided comfort to those who have lost those closest to them. I saw the impact of what it means to be there for those who are suffering and in need on my very first day with LCC in January of 2023 when I first arrived. I immediately got to work organizing our response to the Star Ballroom Dance Studio shooting in Monterey Park, California. One month later, it was responding to the MSU shooting in East Lansing, Michigan. Then the Covenant School shooting in Nashville, Tennessee in March. Then to Louisville, Kentucky in April for a shooting at a bank. Then the shootings at the Allen Premium Outlets in Allen, Texas in May. And in October, the multi-site shooting in Lewiston, Maine and most recently, the shooting on the campus at UNLV in Las Vegas, Nevada, where three lost their lives. These crisis situations aren't the only requests to be there that LCC responds to. Our disaster response ministry provided assistance serving 62 families after the massive tornadoes in historic Selma, Alabama in January. In March and April, we responded to the storms that ripped through the southeast United States and tornadoes that caused massive damage in Arkansas. All year, we remained vigilant in serving our northern Illinois district by assisting with storms that tore through multiple communities. Recently, we were blessed to serve, and are still serving, Lahaina in Maui after firestorms raged across the area where an estimated 12,000 people were displaced and 100 died. And even more recently, we have responded to the tornadoes that struck Tennessee and Kentucky. And these are only about half of the responses for LCC to respond. Add to that the weekly visits from our canine teams throughout the country to schools, nursing homes, and community events. Add our regular responses through our hearts of mercy and compassion to our military and our first responders. And consider the daily work of our human care team to meet even the most basic of needs of those who are hurting. Through each of these deployments, we were honored to be there with communities in need, bringing the peace of God at a time where peace seemed to be nowhere to be found. Just as God chose in His grace and mercy to be there with us in our need through Jesus, we also can be there to share His mercy, His love, His grace, and comfort with others. 
And that's the power of God moving through Team LCC. We know that unfortunately the hurt and suffering endured in this world is going to continue into this new year. Yet the comfort we have received from the Lord is now ours to bring to others. Your response is our response. Together, you and I now walk forward into a new year confidently, trusting in His presence to continue to be there for many more through our disaster response, our human care, our hearts of mercy and compassion, our canine, our international ministry, and also helping you to follow Jesus through our daily devotions and teachings. And I'm excited to share that as we move into 2024, LCC will be partnering with our church affiliates to develop teams who will be trained as trauma-informed caregivers. Research has found significant impact upon an individual's recovery through trauma when they receive spiritual first aid that is present, timely, and personal. LCC is proud to announce our spiritual first aid certification training starting in this new year. This training will give each participating congregation the readiness to be there for their community through all types of difficult circumstances, all while pointing to the healing hope of Jesus. I wish I could say that being sent to be there with those in need is an easy job, but we all know that it takes strength and it takes support. Strength that only God can give to us and the gracious, generous support that you provide. That support is what helps us to bring the compassion and love of Christ to those that we serve. Once again, you are part of Team LCC as we go. For every need that arises throughout this new year, we continue our commitment to meet those needs with our dollar in, dollar out philosophy as we pass through 100% of your donations to the LCC ministries that you choose, absorbing any and all administrative fees that are needed to turn your gifts into the presence of God with those in need. LCC does not receive funding to support operations from state or federal agencies, nor do we receive operational funding from our LCMS districts or from our Synod. The support for our operating budget comes from your response to our end of the year campaign. We humbly ask that you would remember us last. What we mean is that after you have given to your congregation, to organizations that you support in your communities, that you would then consider supporting LCC's operations. Your generous gifts allow us to be there and moving into this new year so that Team LCC can continue to walk alongside of those individuals and communities in need. Together, we're Team LCC, and we can't do it without you, and we wouldn't want to either. Your response today is a blessing not only to those we serve, but also a great blessing and encouragement to the entire LCC staff and team who so faithfully and passionately pour their heartfelt effort into making a difference in the lives of those we serve. Thank you for serving with us and for your continued support through your gifts, volunteering, and most importantly, through your prayers. God bless each and every one of you as we begin 2024. Where Jesus leads us, we will follow. Where doors open, we will go. Happy New Year.